to express our sincere gratitude to the government polytechnic and your team for inviting us to the science exhibition. It would be a great pleasure to attend and to have the opportunity to experience the wonderful exhibits and display that your team has put together. We were truly impressed by the efforts and creativity that went into organizing the event. So the topic for our project is auto irrigation system. We will understand the working of the auto irrigation system here. Our today's agenda for the presentation are first introduction, second aim, third materials, fourth working, fifth programming, sixth logic, seventh explanation, eighth application and last conclusion. Firstly we will start with the introduction for our presentation and project. An auto irrigation system is a modern solution for efficient watering of plants in gardens or farms. It works by automating the process of watering and can be controlled remotely through Bluetooth and Arduino. The system can be customized to suit the specific needs of plants such as their watering schedule and the amount of water needed. It eliminates the need for manual watering which can be time consuming and error prone. The use of Bluetooth and Arduino technology allows for seamless integration with other systems such as weather monitoring and soil moisture sensors. This results in better plant growth, increased yield and conser conservation of water resources. In this presentation, we will explore the various components of an auto irrigation system and how it works using Bluetooth and Arduino technology. We will also discuss the benefits of this system and its potential applications. Further, we will look towards the aim of our project. The aim of the auto irrigation system is to automate and optimize the process of watering plants to improve their growth, yield and conserve water resources. Further, we will look towards the different materials used in completing this project. First one is Arduino UNO R3. Second, Bluetooth HC. Third, Relay Module. Fourth, Soil Moisture Sensor. Fifth, Pump Motor 12 Watts. Sixth, Motor Driver. Seventh, Jumper Wire. Eighth, TCRT 500 Infrared. Now, we will look towards some of the important materials used in the project in a bit brief manner. Arduino. Arduino microcontroller is programmed to control the irrigation system and dispense water based on soil moisture levels. Bluetooth HC In an auto irrigation project, Bluetooth is used to stabilize a wireless connection between the microcontroller and a mobile device such as a smartphone. This allows the user to monitor the moisture levels of the soil and adjust the watering schedule and receive alerts if necessary. Relay Module In an auto irrigation project, the relay module is used to convert the power supply to the water pump. The microcontroller sends a signal to the relay module, which then switches on or off the power supply to water pump based on the programmed watering schedule and moisture level of the soil. Soil Moisture Sensor in an auto irrigation project, soil moisture sensors are used to detect the moisture levels of the soil. When the moisture level falls below a set threshold, the sensors send a signal to the microcontroller, which then triggers the water pump to dispense water, ensuring that the plants receive the necessary water for their growth and survival. Water motors In an auto irrigation project, water motors are used to drive the water pump which dispenses water to the plant. The motor driver receives a signal from the microcontroller, which then drives the water motor, which it turns drives the water pump to dispense water based on the programmed watering schedule and the moisture level of the soil. Motor driver In an auto irrigation project, the motor driver is used to control the water pump. 
the microcontroller sends a signal to the motor driver, which then drives the water pump to dispense water based on the program watering schedule and the moisture level of the soil. Jumper wires Jumper wires are used in an auto irrigation system to stabilize connections between the various components such as the Arduino sensors and motors. They transmit data and power between components. TRCT5000 Infrared TRCT5000 is a soil sensor used in auto irrigation system transmitting moisture readings to mobile device or computer. Arduino board and Bluetooth module for remote monitoring and control. Now we will look for the programming which is required for the setup and working of the project. So here take a look on the programming code of the project. Here we will understand the logic behind the working of the project. There are two modes in the auto irrigation system, auto and manual. In auto mode, the system works on the provided code or logic and it controls the pump motors and when to provide water to plants. Whereas in manual mode, you can control your system using your mobile with Bluetooth connectivity. You can control the pump motors and when to provide water. Now I would like to give a brief explanation of the project auto irrigation system. An auto irrigation project is a system that is designed to automate the watering process for plants. The project utilizes a microcontroller which is an Arduino to control the flow of water to plants based on soil moisture data. Soil moisture sensors are used to detect the moisture levels in soil and send data to the Arduino. The Arduino activates a motor driver which turns on the water pump through a relay module. Bluetooth connectivity is used for remote monitoring and control of the system. The relay module is responsible for controlling the flow of water to different areas of the garden or field. The system can be powered by a battery or an additional power source. To understand the connectivity and working of the materials used in the project, I would request you to take a look on these diagrams. Further, let us know about some of the different applications on which our project will be a useful source. First is Home Gardens. Auto irrigation system can be used to automate the watering process in home gardens. This is especially useful for people who have busy schedules and may not have time to water their plants regularly. Second, Agriculture. Auto irrigation system can be used in large scale agriculture to automate the watering process and conserve water. This can help farmers save time and so resource while still ensuring that their crops receive the necessary amount of water. Third is greenhouses. Auto irrigation system can be used to control the watering process in greenhouses which is essential for maintaining optimal growing growing condition for plants. 
fort parks and public spaces auto irrigation system can be used to maintain the greenery in parks and public spaces this can help reduce water waste and ensure that the plants remain healthy and vibrant fifth landscaping auto irrigation system can be used to maintain the landscaping in residential and commercial properties this can help ensure that the plants remain healthy and vibrant while also reducing water waste sixth is sports fields auto irrigation systems can be used to maintain the turf and grass in sports fields which is essential for maintaining safe playing conditions for athletes seventh vineyards auto irrigation systems can be used to control the watering process in vineyards which is essential for maintaining the health and quality of the grapes hope you all got an efficient rough idea of our project through this presentation and love watching it so at the end we will look to the conclusion for the project in conclusion an auto irrigation system is an innovative way to efficiently water plants without requiring manual effort with the use of an arduino bluetooth connectivity and a relay module the system can be programmed to automatically dispense water based on soil moisture data this significantly reduces water wastage and optimizes plant growth the remote monitoring and control capability of the system makes it convenient to operate and disk adjust with proper installation and programming an auto irrigation system can be an excellent investment for gardeners farmers and other agricultural projects it not only saves time and energy but also promotes sustainable agriculture practices we would like to thank sir amir and sir imran who helped us and guided us in completing our project the students involved in the project are roshan raj priyanshu seth suraj ranjan abhijit sebum so thank you once again for extending the invitation and for providing such an enriching and enjoyable experience we would look forward to the possibility of attending future events hosted by your team thank you